Alrighty. Uh, in this one, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it the extra, the same way I did last time. I'm gonna do uh, some tricks in this video. This one actually is pretty close to the same method as last time. So to write the equation, you know, y2 minus y1, which is 9 minus 5, that one minus that one, over x2 minus x1, so 0 minus 4. All right, 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. 0 minus 4 is equal to negative 4. And so our slope, our m, is equal to negative 1. All right, now for this next one, you kind of just have to have a background, I guess, in doing these. Uh, but next would be to find our b. You know, y equals mx plus b, and we know our m. The b is actually given to us if, uh, if you understand what the b is. So b is for the y-intercept. And when you have a linear equation, actually it doesn't have to be linear, just any equation, any graph. The y-intercept's right here. Now, in this picture, I don't have any numbers, but I do know, sort of, I do know a little bit about that point, about that y-intercept. I know that the x-coordinate is 0, because it always crosses there at 0 for x. The y-coordinate, I don't know, though. But see, they give us that sort of thing in this problem. This is our y-intercept, 0, 9. All right. Uh, so when they give that to you, you don't have to do that whole rigmarole thing that we did last time. We can just plug that 9 in for b. So our answer here is y equals negative 1x, or just negative x, plus 9. Okay? Now for the real lesson. This is going to be super, super helpful. And you, I, I can't explain like just how helpful it is. Uh, how to solve these when they're multiple choice and we're not going to actually work out the problem. I mean, I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to narrow it down to two options, just using that slope formula. But what I'm going to show you here is how to plug these points in, how to just plug them into the equations, and it makes it so much easier. Uh, this is something that we do in Algebra 2, we do it in trigonometry. It's, it's very easy. You're just plugging in numbers for x and y. All right, let's do this first. Uh, y2 is 9. Y1 is 6 over X2 is 5 and X1 is 4. All right, so you get a 1 on bottom, 3 on top. So your slope is 3. So it's got to be either A or B. Okay, so now I'm going to take either one of these points. I'm probably just going to use this 4, 6. And I'm going to plug 4 in for 6, or I'm going to plug 4 in for x, and 6 in for y. And I'm just going to see if the equation balances, all right? Because if the equation balances, that means that that point is on this line. All right, so 4 for x, uh, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. So you get y equals 6. That is our answer. Now, I suppose you can go ahead and plug in 5 as well. Let's just do that real quick. If we plug in 5 for x, we get 3 times 5 is 15. And then 15 minus 6, well, that is 9. That's what we were plugging in for y. So a is the answer. If you were to plug it in for b, it would not equal each other. Uh, they would not balance. All right, more to come.